When there's power, the fight for the throne is always there, which means war, and war is an art itself. An art that has evolved dramatically with the advancement in technology and invention of contemporary technologies. One thing about war, however, hasn't changed, and that is the urge to win. It is still essential to keep the true strength of your forces and the extent of your arsenal hidden from your opponent. The most important military secrets are only disclosed to the select few who can be trusted to carry out the mission. When Alfred Loomis gathered America's finest scientific minds at the MIT Radiation Laboratory, the result was developments in radar technology that many say won the Second World War. Then came the atomic bomb, which ended the war and secured America's place as the world leader in military research. We could only imagine the kind of weapons that might have been hidden inside Area 51. Let's check out some of the US's long-rumored top 10 secret military techs, and wait till the last one, because you will be shocked to find out about it. Starting off with number 10, we have heart attack guns. The heart attack rifle is a modified weapon that was discovered back in 1975 while investigating the Watergate scandal case. It was discovered that the gun was capable of delivering an almost undetectable but utterly lethal dose of shellfish toxin to the body of a distant target. The darts fired by this soundless device, technically speaking, leave a pinprick that is no larger than a mosquito bite and dissolves almost instantly into the body's tissues after delivering a decent amount of very poisonous solution that is almost sure to cause the victim to have a heart attack in a mere moment. It is unclear whether or not the heart attack pistol has ever been used, but for all we know, it may still be successfully used today. And at number 9, we have the Magneto Hydrodynamic Explosive Munition. Since the Second World War, numerous weapons manufacturers have provided soldiers with war machines called self-forging penetrators. By using a chemical explosion and a metal liner, the self-forging penetrators propel themselves to the armored vehicle and then alter their shape to reach the goal. However, traditional self-forging penetrators are unreliable and difficult to use, giving rise to a demand for a more powerful weapon of penetration. DARPA has created a specialized projectile for this niche, called the Magneto Hydrodynamic Explosive Munition, or MAHIM. Using electromagnetism to shape and direct a sustained jet of molten metal to an armored target, MAHIM is much more adaptable than traditional SFP and closely resembles the fictional weapon featured in Earthlight. Beyond these basic details, not much is known about this secretive military project. And in at number 8, we have Directed Energy Weapons. Directed energy weapons were first used by the Greek mathematician Archimedes over 2,000 years ago. But old is always gold, and the Americans are using some old-school hacks to take over the rest of the world. It appears that Archimedes was able to catch the energy of the sun and reflect it onto ships, setting them on fire and causing them to sink in a matter of minutes. MIT students were able to replicate this effect in 2005, but noted that their mirror was only capable of effectively burning a stationary object. A directed energy weapon has the ability to damage from a distance by firing an intensely concentrated beam of energy toward a target. If used accordingly, it can give the Americans an upper hand during a war. And in at number 7, we have HARP. Attention was brought to the HARP facility in Alaska by Hugo Chavez when he accused the United States Air Force of using this high-frequency transmitter array to trigger the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Theories about the darker side of HARP were supposedly put to rest in 2014, but speculation was kindled back into the flame when HARP was reopened in 2017 by the University of Alaska Fairbanks. When HARP's custodians announced their plans to create a version of the Aurora Borealis, something invisible to the naked eye in the skies over Alaska, many took this as confirmation of this controversial research station's weather manipulating abilities. Well, who knows, it might be one of the secret weapons of the state's military. And at number 6, we have flying aircraft carriers. In the late 1920s, the US Navy constructed two Zeppelin-style airships, USS Akron and USS Macron. Although they met with a disastrous end, they were able to deploy and recover Sparrowhawk fighter planes mid-air. Recently, however, reports have emerged about DARPA's intentions to reopen this chapter of American history and to make another effort to create airborne aircraft carriers for military use. But not for fighter planes, but drones. Given that DARPA is notorious for unexpectedly revealing the planning phases of the already completed projects as soon as their cover might be blown, it is fair to wonder if this so-called Gremlins program may already be flying ships over our heads. If the fanciful testimony of the alleged hidden space program insiders like Corey Good is to be believed, there might even be Avengers-style helicarriers with the Air Force cruising the skies right now, rendered undetectable by sophisticated cloaking technology. At number 5, we have biological weaponry. One of the greatest threats is the existence of a virus in a certain area. 
not because of an accident, but because someone left it there on purpose. A biological war is one of the most dangerous things that could happen. You'll be surprised to know, back in 1950, the US military conducted a non-consensual biological experiment on its citizens in San Francisco, where billions of microbes were blasted into the atmosphere. This led to a series of massive illnesses across the city, but thankfully only killed one citizen. Now that's the scale of biological weaponry, invisible but lethal. In 2016, DNI director James Clapper also expressed his fear that gene editing technology could become a weapon of mass destruction if it fell into the wrong hands. At number 4 we have subliminal messaging. Subliminal messaging is a tactic commonly used in advertising that is typically used to manipulate consumers into purchasing a product or service. But what if we tell you that the same idea is also used by the intelligence community of the United States for the purpose of manipulation or even mind control? A former classified CIA paper entitled The Operational Capacity of Subliminal Perception explains in detail all you would need to know about the prescribed technique for gaining the concepts of subliminal perception in order order to induce others to do something that they might not necessarily want to do. It can be a very tricky tool, but at the same time an incredibly effective one, because after all, you are what you think. And number three, we have long-range acoustic devices. Introduced during the Ferguson, Missouri protest back in 2014, a new type of crowd control weapon came to our attention. This unique weapon is capable of operating through voice commands over a distance of up to 9 kilometers. A long-range acoustic device, LRAD, shoots its shot so hard that anyone within a radius of 100 meters who gets hit by it can go through some seriously deadly pain. LRAD manufacturers prefer calling their products devices rather than weapons for public relations reasons. But anyone who has endured the effects of an LRAD is well aware of the difference between a device and a weapon. This device can be so harsh that anyone can face permanent hearing loss if hit on the wrong spot. For the penultimate number two, we have Project Thor. Potentially overshadowing the MOBE as the deadliest non-nuclear weapon in the US arsenal, Project Thor is a technology developed by Jerry Pornell back in the 50s, with the goal of obliterating enemies with bolts from above. This type of kinetic energy penetrator would potentially consist of a pair of satellites. One acts as a targeting center, and the other is fitted with 20-foot-long tungsten rods that will be dropped from orbit to the target. Capable of penetrating hundreds of feet into the surface of the planet, these thunderbolts from Thor will cause damage equal to a nuclear explosion without a fallout. And finally, we have low-frequency microwave mind control. Okay, well, this one is pretty interesting. We see numerous science fictions focused on mind control capacities and stuff like that. Well, what if this science fiction becomes a reality? But that could be incredibly risky. When the Soviet Union and US were fighting a Cold War back in 1965, the Soviet Union were blasting very low-frequency microwave signals to the embassy in Moscow. Nobody knows what the Russians were trying to do. It was speculated that they wanted to alter the behavior of the embassy staff. Studies have also shown that a low-frequency microwave and radio wave can also have a detrimental impact on the human body. But the US was smart enough to study them rather than stopping the attack, and Project Pandora was born. Although the project was shut down in 1969, claiming to be a national threat, you never know the numerous ways the government keeps secrets from us.